Extradition blow. Finnish officials drop bond shares over move to extradite Simon Ekpa to Nigeria after arrest. <laughs> See what was revealed that shocked Nigerian government. Hmm. This is really getting tougher. Nigerians efforts to extradite Simon Ekpa. A prominent separatist figure from Finland have encountered a significant legal obstacles. Simon Ekpa, who was arrested in Finland on terrorism-related charges, has been a controversial figure, having been declared wanted by the Nigerian military last March. Background on Simon Ekpa and the Eastern Security Network the Simon Ekpa has gained notoriety as the leader of the Eastern Security Network on ethnic militant advocating for the interests of the Igbo people in southeastern region over the past few years. He has utilized social media to enforce lockdowns in the region, particularly on Mondays, which he claims are a form of civil disobedience against the Nigerian government. Reports indicate that his followers have resorted to violence to ensure compliance with these directives. General Christ, Christopher Musa, Nigerian's chief of defense staff, confirmed that the Nigerian government is actively pushing a past extradition to face charges that could potentially lead to the death penalty. However, legal experts has raised doubts about the visibility of this request. Notably, the Finnish law prohibits the extradition of its citizens to non-UE countries, a policy echoed by various European nations. A representative from the Finnish authorities stated, that everything has to be done according to the Finnish legislation, which has very strong protections for freedom of speech. This legal framework complicates Nigerians' extradition requests, especially given the assent of a bilateral extradition treaty between the two nations. Lagos based attorney Festus Ogu emphasized the significance of an extradition treaty, noting if there is no extradition treaty between the two countries, there can be no legal basis or justification for extraditing a pact. Despite the challenges, there remains a possibility for prosecution within Finland. Uh, Finnish law allows for the revocation of citizenship under specific circumstances, such as conviction for certain crimes. However, this route appears unlikely in a past case, given the complicity of his situation. The Finnish authorities have indicated that they are collaborating with their Nigerian counterparts to gather evidence against Ekba. If convicted in Finland, he could potential, potentially face issues of double Jeopardy if Nigeria attempts to prosecute him for the same offenses upon his return. The situation is further complicated by Nigeria's human rights record, which has drawn screening from international observers. The case of Nambikano, another separatist leader with dual citizenship in Nigeria, and the UK highlights these concerns. Kano was kidnapped in Kenya and extradited to Nigeria, where he was reminded in custody, despite calls for his release from various regional leaders. The UK government has conducted in, in, in inquiries into Kanu's case, but has maintained a neutral stance. I mean inquiries. Please pardon me. Lina, the former Finnish ambassador to Nigeria commented on the situation stating, he is a dual citizen as far as I know of Nigeria and Finland, and he is therefore protected and safe and sound in his home in Finland. She reiterated 
the importance of adhering to Finnish legislation, particularly concerning freedom of speech. So the background to Ekpa's activities is rooted in Nigerians' uh, history, particularly the Biafra Civil War from 1967 to 1970, when the southeastern region attempts to secede. This historical conflict has led to ongoing feelings of political marginalization among the Igbo people. The recent switch in separatist sentiment has been particularly pronounced during the tenure of the former president, Muhammad Buhari, whose administration faced criticism for his handling of the situation. The Biafra movement initially garnered widespread support in the Southeast. However, as it becomes increasingly violent, public opinion began to shift. Many residents are now advocating for a political resolution that includes the release of the detained leaders like Hano. Since taking office in May 2023, President Bola Tinubu has pledged to address the underlying issues fueling these agitations, but has not indicated whether he plans to drop charges against Kano or other separatists. The extradition of Simon Ekba from Finland to Nigeria remains a fright with legal complications and human rights considerations as both nations navigate these diplomatic impasses, the potential implications for the separatist movement in Nigeria and the border regional stability remain significant. The involving situation will require careful monitoring as it unfolds, particularly in light of historical grievances and the ongoing quest for political autonomy among the Igbo people. As Nigeria grapples with these challenges, the international community continues to watch closely highlighting the delicate balance between national security and human rights. So guys, what's your take on this? Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Please, if you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and bye for now.